Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Carmino versus Toast, and this is the finals of a Dragon Raiders game tournament. If you want to check out their Facebook page, make sure to go check them out down below in the description. The winner of this match will get $50, and the loser will get $25, and let's hop right into it. And then we're going to see a tie, and then we're going to see Toast win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, so they get to decide who goes first and second. Looking at the deck count, we got 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. And then they will get to the side, and they will be choosing to go second. And then looking at the opening hands, we have Gamma, Lightning Storm, Prosperity, Conductor, Ovi. So a few going second cards, but they were forced to go first. And then they have Alistair, Prosperity, Invocation, Super Poly, Prosperity. So most likely they just knew what their opponent was on and then made him go first. Because, you know, it is the finals of a tournament. You should know what your opponent is playing by the finals. Then they're gonna go ahead and start off with Prosperity, Banishing Six. Looking at those, we see like the Shadal stuff, Anaconda, Artifact. And then they're gonna go ahead and mill. And then grabs Fossil Dig out of those. And then put them all back to the bottom of the deck. So here they're gonna go ahead and Fossil Dig to go grab Misk. Also, I can't wait to see this deck with the Scrap Raptor. Everyone's been hyping it up so much, so I hope it's like actually played. Uh, I watched a few combos with it. Shout out to Grim YGO. So I, I don't know, I hope, I hope this stuff like is actually played. And then they're gonna Misk Effect and then summon OV, OV Effect, go add Baby from deck to hand. And then they're gonna Misk to go ahead and summon out Arch. Arch, destroy baby, go grab pill, and then baby, bring out baby, and then OV, destroy baby, bring out the other baby, and then baby, bring out misc. Then they're going to go ahead and go for Link Curry Ball, and then turn those into a Lambda. They do have Gamma in hand, so that's going to be an interruption, or it'll make this an interruption, and then go for Dweller, then pass turn. So, not a crazy end board, but... You know, they do have Dweller through like a Dark Ruler or something, and then they have Gamma with Lambda. They draw Nadir's Servant, that's a really good draw. Got Dweller, and then Summon Alistair effect, Chain Gamma. Or... Yeah, <laughs> I was, was going to say, oh, they're probably thinking if they wanted to like Chain Super Poly there or something. And then they're going to go Invocation to get rid of those. And then go for Macabo. And then they're going to activate Prosperity. Go ahead, banish three. So they are playing Shecky. That's a little bit interesting. For sure. And then they're going to mill. And then they're going to go ahead and grab Ash. It's always good to see the Shadal stuff. Like, this stuff is so needed in the deck. And then they're going to grab that. Put the rest back to the bottom of the deck. And then add your Servant. Uh... Add Ecclesia by sending App Cologne. And then Special Summon Ecclesia, Ecclesia Effect. That's going to go ahead and grab Punishment from the deck to the hand. And then Beat Over Dweller. And then Beat Over Gamma. And then Set Punishment and Phase Driver gets banished. And then Lambda Effect to go ahead and add a Psy Frame. Go add Gamma. Uh, it's not going to be like usable because Driver's gone, but may as well get the Brick out of the deck. And then draw Gamma, and also like they can destroy it with Conductor, banish it with Pill, like they can still do other things with it. <laughs> and then they draw the third Gamma. That sucks. They're gonna go Standby, Punishment, hit Lambda. Is there... Oh, because they want to App Cologne to Aerial hit the Grave. Alright, yeah, that's fair. And then App Cologne Effect. They, alright, I was going to say, there's no way they're playing multiple driver. If so, they're just insane. Like, that would be, that wouldn't even be, like, super crazy here, but that would have been wild. Then they're going to go ahead and aerial, hit three. Then they're going to go ahead and lightning storm, hit monsters, macabre, negate that. And then activate pill, chain ash blossom to negate that. And then they just have no more plays. Yeah, just pass. Oh, they admit defeat there. That's weird, right? Because, like, they did use punishment, so they can't go into the extract next turn. So they could, like, invocation, Alistair, summon it, like, 5,000. I guess they just 
figure that this game anyhow. Uh, but going on to the next game, we are going to go ahead and see the Dino player choose for the uh, Shadal Invoked player to go first. Looking at the opening hands, we have Arch, Ash, Fossil Dig, Pet, and Pill. So going second, they have Ash Blossom as a going second card, and then they have Ash, Meltdown, Alistair, Droll, and Prosperity. So this hand is solid. Definitely solid. They're going to normal summon Alistair, affect Chain Ash, and then prosperity that's going to go ahead and banish three. Oh, and that's just invocation and they're also playing ddg we've seen this card get really popular recently and then grab invocation put the rest back to the bottom of the deck honestly ddg i don't know if it's gone up in price a lot or anything but if it hasn't might be worth picking up not too sure though not too sure uh, then they're going to go for Secure Garden, uh, activate Invocation, that's going to go ahead and Banish, Banish, go for Makaba, Invocation to grab back Alistair, and then pass turn, draw Ash for turn, and then Fossil Dig, go grab Misk, and then they're going to drop Droll there, and then pass turn, wow, they just draw Droll again, and then Summon Alistair, Effect, that's going to go grab Invocation from Deck to Hand, and then Invocation to bring out Raijin. Um, you know, Invocation, go fetch the Alistair. And then they're going to go Battle Phase, poke for some good damage here. Hit him with 47. And then pass. Aw. Oh, they draw a second arch. Unfortunate. I feel like whenever we feature Carmino playing Dino, they just always draw arch. Like a lot. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but Misk Effect, and then Normal Summon Arch, Effect, Destroy Pet, and then that's going to go grab Pill from Deck to Hand, and then Pet Effect, and then they're going to chain Macabre to that, and then they're also going to be dropping Droll, and then go ahead and go for Link Karibo, and then Misk Effect to bring out Baby from the deck, then they're going to go ahead and activate Pill, Banishing 2, Chain Ash Blossom, and then they're just submitting Defeat here. Wow, that was... Not a crazy match. I, like, I mean, they did have, like, you know, Ash, Droll, Alistair, you know, they asked it, Prosperity Invocation, which is, like, pretty strong. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like this deck right now, personally. Um, I just don't think it's, like, that crazy. Maybe with, like, Scrap Raptor, it'll become a lot better. And also, like, game one, we saw them win the dice roll and then choose for them to go first. Uh, I know some people are going to be like, oh, that's cheap. But, you know, you're in the finals of a tournament. If you know what your opponent's deck is, then obviously you're going to do what's correct. Like, you're not going to be like, oh, I'm going to go first. Oh, I know it's Dino, but I don't want to make them go first because I don't want... I, I don't know. Like, it's not cheating to know what deck your opponent's on. Especially when it's the finals of a tournament and you should know by then. Like, last YCS, I knew my top 3 to 2, top 16, and top 8 opponent's decks before I even played against them or sat down, just because you got to know all the decks. Uh, it's really as simple as that, but overall, that was a, a really quick match. Let's see how long it took. Yeah, 15 minutes. Yeah, that was insanely quick. I guess Dino's matches are, like, usually rather quick, it feels like. But, again... Make sure to check out the Dragon Raider games, or Rider games, uh, link down below in the description to their Facebook. Um, and also shout out the Toast for winning $50, and then also shout out the Carmino for winning $25. So even though they lost, they still got a little bit of money, uh, not horrible. Uh, yeah, and uh, with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off, peace, have a nice day.